Hello everyone, this is Warhawk Beyond 2040 bringing to you another edition of the Wrestling Discussion Series. And what a way to close out WWE Bad Blood 2024 with the return of the one and only, the final boss himself, The Rock. Now, when they announced that Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns versus The Bloodline was going to close out the show, I thought to myself, there's bound to be some sort of return or shocking appearance from somebody. I didn't know who it could be. There were rumours it could be The Rock. But I wasn't entirely 100% sure what this was going to mean. Jimmy Uso made his shocking return for the first time since the post-WrestleMania Smackdown when he was taken out by the new bloodline. So it was great to see him. He came out to a massive pop. Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes defeated the bloodline. We saw the reunion of Roman Reigns and Jimmy Uso. Jimmy Uso acknowledging that Roman Reigns is the one and only original tribal chief. And then The Rock came out. He didn't say a word. He just stared down Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes and pretty much made it very clear that he was gunning for them. So what does this mean? Now, obviously, The Rock is still playing his newfound heel persona, which may I add to great success. So... The question that has to be asked is, why did The Rock come out? What was his reason for being there? Obviously, it looks like they are planting the seeds for The Rock versus Roman Reigns for WrestleMania 41. That's what I think The Rock was out there for, to start building up for that match. Now, the only thing I can probably say for the reason that The Rock came out there was he was probably not happy about the fact that Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns are now teaming up. Now, we know that Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes are not friends. They have a common enemy, which, of course, is the bloodline. And Roman Reigns has made it very clear that when business has settled with the bloodline, he's coming back for his title. But there is The Rock to consider. Because the last time we saw The Rock was after WrestleMania 40, when he had that great promo with Cody Rhodes. And Rock made it very clear that he was going to be coming back. We just didn't know when. And he also said to Cody, whatever you do, don't break my heart ever again. So obviously Rock wasn't very happy about Cody and Roman working together. Who knows how this is all going to play out. Now, the other possibility, I think, on how this could play out. This could set up for a Bloodline War Games match at Survivor Series 2024. I have been seeing fan-made posters of this potential match. Bloodline versus Bloodline. You know, like some sort of civil war type of affair. I think that could be something really special. Whether or not The Rock could be part of that match remains to be seen, but it looks like to me Rock is itching to do one more run. Maybe he plans to do one final run and then retire and then go into the Hall of Fame. Who knows, really, but The Rock coming out at the end of Bad Blood 2024. Obviously, I fully expect to see Rock make another appearance because we know that WWE is going to switch over to Netflix. So obviously they want to have some sort of big number in the ratings. And there's no better person to bring in the ratings than The Rock. Now, will we hear The Rock explain why he came out? Or was this just a one-time thing? We might have to wait another month before The Rock addresses why he was out there, but it's quite obvious he wasn't out there to celebrate with the bloodline, and he certainly wasn't out there to celebrate with Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns. Maybe The Rock feels that Roman Reigns has let the family down. I mean, he's lost the title. He's now teaming up with Cody Rhodes. Rock's not exactly a happy boss, to say the very least, but we'll just have to wait and see, really. But what a way 
to close out Bad Blood 2024. I mean, maybe it was a little bit predictable, but still a great appearance. Looking forward to seeing how this is all going to play out. And just when you thought, once again, the story was starting to get a bit stale, The Rock just comes in and just injects new life into it. And that's what The Rock does. He just makes everything feel fresh and good. So anyway, that's going to be it from me. I'm going to wrap this up now. What did you guys think about The Rock's shocking appearance at Bad Blood 2024? Were you shocked? Were you surprised? Why do you think The Rock was out there? Do you think this could be setting up for a War Games match at Survivor Series? Or do you think he was out there to set up for a match against Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 41? You know what to do, guys. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave your thoughts and comments down below. And I will see all of you next time for another edition of the Wrestling Discussion Series. So until then, take care, everybody, and stay safe. And once again, as always, much appreciated. Thanks for listening.